Hello there guys, Francis Gray here and today we're going to be creating some nurses from Silent Hill. Okay guys, so I found some files online for some nurses. Now, I found these files on a website called Thingiverse and they were uploaded by a user called Mag/net. If you follow this channel, you might remember that was a digital artist who created the file for the Pyramid Head from uh, obviously same again Silent Hill. And uh, we had a lot of fun building that. Uh, we built it on both filament and resin on the 3D printers and uh, it came together really nice so I basically have him in centre place in one of my uh, shelves in my horror collection I'm making my, uh, in my glass cabinet so I wouldn't mind some nurses to go alongside him in the backdrop so uh, so yeah so I'll uh, show you that now okay guys so this is gonna be my Silent Hill uh, shelf in my, uh, in my personal collection in my uh, cabinet He's going to be uh, situated next to uh, Charles Play Chucky there. So yeah, so the idea is, now I've already gone ahead and I've made Pyramid Head, dragging the, uh, one of those two-legged things from the game. Uh, this was uh, a digital sculpt, which I 3D printed and made, uh, made by the same guy, uh, Mag Slash Net, from uh, Thingiverse, who's, uh, who also did the uh, nurses as well. So it's all made to the same scale, so you can't really go wrong. But uh, but if you're interested in seeing this guy being made, there'll be a link to that in the description bar below. But uh, getting back to the nurses, now obviously Pyramid Ed, I wanted him to be centre facing the main eye catching piece. Uh, then I was going to put uh, this, the two nurses this side on a base. The base is very reminiscent of this base, and then uh, the other two nurses on the exact same matching base over here. So then we've got like nurses coming in from both sides. Uh, I've also gone ahead and I've added this like uh, rusted old chain on both sides just to give a little bit more atmosphere uh, from the games. But yeah, all in all, I think Ness is uh, here, and then Part B here as well, and then maybe something for the foreground, I don't know yet. But overall, I think that'll work uh, really well. So yeah, so uh, let's crack on with the build. Okay guys, so we're going to start this project by printing off Ness Part A. So this Ness is, uh, as you can see, uh, leaning slightly forward, and uh, once she'll have a two hands attached she should be supporting one of the uh, the lead pipes uh, well it's that variant of the uh, nurse so yeah so uh, we'll go ahead and we'll print her off and uh, we'll see what we're left with Okay guys, so as you can see here we have the main five parts to the uh, nurse printed. Now I have gone ahead and I have sanded down some of the uh, connection parts uh, where the uh, struts were. So yeah, so we're obviously we've got the torso and the head, and then we've got the legs, and then we've got a uh, right hand, so you can see there some lovely fine detail on the fingers there so that came out really nice and then we have a uh, left hand or left arm now this is the only piece that is going to be a problem now i did print off the pipe as well but as you can see it's not straight now i could heat it up but i think this is always going to be a problem so i'm thinking about changing this now i don't know if to change this to a knife and that'll be a lot simpler or try and replace this with something else, maybe like a uh, Allen key or something. I'm not right too sure yet. So yeah, so I'll put this to one side. So yeah, so for the next part, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna spray paint these and then hopefully that'll show up any imperfections and then we can sort that out in the next stage. Ok 
Okay guys, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use a bit of epoxy resin to glue these two halves together. Okay guys, so I'll just go ahead and I'll leave this to dry. Okay guys, so for the next one we'll go ahead and we'll print off Nurse B which is more upright and this time her weapon is a meat cleaver. Okay guys, so I've gone ahead and I've printed off the four main key parts to uh, the uh, second nurse, which is Nurse B. So we've got the head and torso, we've got the legs, and then we've got a left hand with a meat cleaver, which is there, and then we've got the right hand there. So quite a lot of really good detail to capture all our little fingers. Now I have gone ahead and I have uh, filed down where the uh, where it connected to the pegs, so it's uh, it's quite dusty on one side, so that'll have to be given a bit of a quick clean. But uh, for the most part, yeah, I'm really happy with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a quick coat of grey prime, and then that'll show up any imperfections, and then we can take care of those imperfections, and then I'm going to drill and pin. Uh, some of the key parts together. Okay guys, so I've gone ahead and I've mixed a bit of epoxy resin, so it's gonna I'm going to glue these two halves together, but before I do that, I'm just going to leave some scar marks so the, the resin's got something to hold on to. Okay guys, so I'll just leave this to harden. Okay guys, so I went to my local charity shop and I got two of these, which uh, are wooden bases. Now they're only 50p each, but uh, there's like a, a like a paperish kind of back to it, so this will need to get rid of at some point. But uh, these two, with them being matching, will be perfect to house two separate nurses. Um, so, so there'll be this, this displayed of either side of the pyramid head that I made. So this will be like on the left, and that'll be on the right. So, yeah. So it's, it basically just gets across that uh, it's like a, a diorama from Silent Hill. So obviously this will work great, but uh, this is flimsy on the back, and this needs filling up with resin. So we've got something to work on. So the idea is, I'm going to use this piece of uh, circular wood. I'm going to use some clips and I'm going to clip these into place and then uh, I'm going to put this in here. Now this is basically just so the resin doesn't accidentally leak out, it doesn't go make a mess everywhere, it's contained. And then uh, yeah, and then I'm going to uh, fill it full of resin and then we're going to leave it to dry and then once hardened I'll then repeat, repeat the process with the second one. Okay guys, so when working with resin, I always wear gloves. Okay guys, as you can see there, that turned out pretty nice. It could do with a little bit more, just as a top up. But uh, for the most part, I'm happy with that. So I'll go ahead and I'll do the exact same with the next one and then I'll show you the finished results. Okay guys, so as you can see here both of them have been done, or well filled out a little bit more. So it's all nice and solid now. So now that we've got the top part done we can uh, try and remove some of this flimsy bottom part here. 
and then we can see what it looks like underneath and then we might have to top this up as well Okay guys, so it looks like there was a little bit of resin leaking around the sides and thankfully this paper thing kept it in place so you can see there's a thin line so uh, all it looks like all we need to do is mix a little tiny bit more resin and fill in this side part here and then maybe these holes here and uh, yeah that should be okay so uh, let's have a look at this one Okay guys, that looks like the exact same, so a little bit of leakage um, from the resin. So it looks like we're going to need to top up both sides, so it's like a couple of millimetres on this side and then we need to make the bottom all, uh, all flat as well. So for the next part, I'm going to concentrate on getting the bottom flat first, and then I can take some sandpaper and I can hopefully get all the rest of this uh, paper off and then make that nice and flat and then once that's done I will we'll then concentrate on this side Okay guys, so now that the uh, bottoms have been uh, resined and uh, it's all secure, we need to uh, just top up this top part here. So as you can see here, it's like it's sloped up a little bit to the uh, to the right. So same again, I'm just going to mix a little amount and I'm going to top it up and then hopefully I can get right up to the brim. And uh, yeah, and then we'll have a, uh, a good base to work from. Okay guys, so now that this uh, resin's hardened, and this is all m m like one piece now, as you can see there, there is still a bit of a uh, bad seam line connecting, connecting these two parts. This one's not so bad, because this is more of a straight uh, connection where this is a bit more uh, leaning to, uh, to her right, so it's created a bit more of a problem so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get some uh, white wood filler and I'm just going to put it on the inside let it dry and then I can take a sanding bit and hopefully smooth all this down <laughs> guys so these have turned out great so as you can see there they're all nice and flat now and all beveled from the top and the bottom the bottom still needs tidying up like but uh, there's a tiny little bit of an air bubble there that I'll need filling in I can do that with just regular wood filler and then the same with this one just a tiny little imperfection here so all in all a bit of cleanup work still to do but uh, that is a lot more nicer so I'll go ahead and I'll start cleaning up this and then hopefully we can start adding some uh, some tiles. Eventually. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I sanded the top of these of these down and I also sanded the underneath as well. Uh I couldn't film myself doing that because uh I needed to ask a neighbor if I could use his proper uh, sander which is a lot wider than the one I have uh, there's no point in using the one I have because the one I have is the belt about that wide and you find that you you actually cutting off and it's not even so I wanted a, a wider flat surface so yeah so thanks uh, to my neighbor 
I managed to get these done. So now that the bases are done and we've got two nurses, so they should uh, go on like that, we now need to crack on and make two more nurses for uh, for the uh, for this one. So yeah, so let's uh, go into matter control and uh, make some. Okay guys, so this is the file for nurse C. So once again, I'll go ahead and I'll print this off. Okay guys, so here's Nurse C all printed off. So there is some uh, cleanup work that will need to be uh, need to be done where the uh, it was connected to the supports. But uh, all in all, uh, I'm uh, I'm happy with uh, with how this has turned out. So yeah, so what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll go ahead and I'll clean these uh, little bits of uh, struts off. And uh, and then I'll give it a grey prime. There's no point me filming, cle uh, taking the struts off because literally just a little, uh, a little knit, like a little, little file, and just just take me time. So it's, it's a bit boring that part. So yeah, so I'll just go ahead and uh, clean this up, and then uh, we can grey prime. Okay guys, so now that Nurse C has been grey primed, I'm going to go in with a fine uh, drill bit, uh, or sanding bit, and I'm going to uh, try and get rid of some of these uh, some of these connections where it was connected to the support in the uh, resin printer. Okay guys, so what we need next is uh, we need some tiles for the uh, for the resin bases so we can mimic like a creepy, dirty, grimy hallway uh, in an abandoned uh, hospital, obviously situated in Silent Hill. So what I did was I went into matter control and I uh, basically made a slim, uh, thin, like rectangle shape and then I cut out some grooves with some triangles. Uh, both horizontally and vertically. Uh, once that had uh, deleted all that off, I did a little bit of tidying up, and then I went ahead and I made some measurements of the resin bases, and then I made like a, a cook, uh, like a co cookie cutter kind of shape, uh, again from another rectangle, and then uh, just simply put it over the tiles. Deleted what uh, the 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 the, fi the the frame, I suppose, or uh, the circumference. Uh, and then once that was deleted, it basically just left a, uh, a, a tile base which should be the same circumference. So yeah, so I'll have to cut this in half because uh, my filament printer is not big enough to uh, accommodate it in one go. So I'll have to print these off in part A's and part B's. And I'll have to do that twice, for one for each uh, base. But hopefully, once these are printed off, uh, these will work fantastic. Okay guys, so here are the bases printed out, so part A's, part B's. Uh, there's a bit of what you call bedding on the bottom, uh, which is basically stops this the filament from warping, or it, it's to help it from warping anyway. Uh, so yeah, so that'll need to be cut off, but the idea is, uh, once it's trimmed, is they'll be put together on the base like that, which will make like a like a dirty kind of tile floor in like a hospital obviously where the nurses are mainly located so yeah so for the next part what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim all this bedding off tidy it up a little bit and then we'll map it on here and see how it's looking
okay guys it's going to take me a while so I'll go ahead and I'll clean all this up and then I'll catch you in the next section. 2,000 years later. Okay guys so these parts have all been cleaned and as you can see there that they're, uh, that they're a perfect fit for each one. So this will work uh, rather nice I think. So uh, for the next stage what we need to do is we need to uh, glue uh, part A's and part B's to the base. So before I go ahead and do that I'm going to take an old scalpel and I'm going to uh, score some contact scratches in a zigzag pattern to both bases. Once that's done I'll add some glue, maybe some epoxy resin or just some uh, regular contact adhesive, I haven't really decided yet. Uh, but either way, uh, hopefully, once we weigh it down and leave it to dry, it should be nice and solid. So yeah, I'll crack on with that now. Okay guys, I'm just going to go in with some regular contact adhesive. Okay guys, I'll go ahead and I'll leave that to dry. Six hours later. Okay guys, so I've left these to dry. Now, they have set nice and solid, but uh, obviously with me printing them off in two halves, I now have a, a centre seam line that's visible. So I need to fill that in on both of these with just some regular wood filler. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the exact same to this one and I'll catch you in the next bit. Okay guys, so these have gone ahead and they've dried. So for the next stage I've took a triangle shaped file and I'm going to go in between the, the, the tiles and I'm just going to give it a quick once over just to get rid of any uh, unwanted bits of, uh, of wood filler. Okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give this a quick blast of grey primer. Okay guys, so now that the bases have been grey primed, for the next part, I think we should crack on with printing off uh, Ness Part D. Okay guys, so once again, this is Ness D uploaded into Matter Control. So I've gone ahead and I've made the relevant slices, so I'm going to upload them into the printer and then print them out. Okay guys, so Nurse D has been printed off. Now it does need a bit of clean up where the uh, it was connected to some supports. But uh, all in all, it, uh, it all turned out uh, quite nice. Now there was a few little errors. Uh, <clears throat> basically there's a little tiny bit there of a skirt for some reason didn't develop or chipped away. So that'll need to be uh, re-sculpted in, but that's no huge, huge deal. Uh, the biggest problem, uh, this hand 
turned out okay, but this hand didn't. So it developed the weapon, and it developed the hand, but the bottom, I don't know if the camera's focusing, the bottom, bottom. <laughs> is missing there. So now I've got two options. I can either print this off again, uh, or I can just use a little bit of Eve's epoxy and I'll try and re sculpt this missing detail. So, as soon as it's on the bottom half or the bottom part of the hand, that's you know, it's going to be away from from front facing. Uh, I think I might go ahead and I might try and sculpt the missing detail. Uh, if it doesn't look that good, then I'll be reprinting this part off. But uh, for the most part, why? You know, why waste resin? So yeah, so uh, we'll uh, try and sort that out in the next stage. Okay guys, I can't really go ahead and add any finer details to this at the moment because the clay is not holding, it's just moving around. So I'll leave this to add in and then hopefully I can get the Dremel out and I can add a few detail bits then. Okay guys, so for the next part we're going to go ahead and we're going to add some of these metal pins to the backs of the hands, or the arms, and we're going to pin them to the uh, to the nurses. Now I'm not going to glue them in place because they'll be easier to paint if I can separate them and then glue them at a later date. Okay guys, I'll go ahead and I'll leave those uh, to harden, or to dry, sorry. Uh, for the next part, I might go ahead and I might mix some milliput, and I might uh, go over and sculpt over these, this uh, hideous seam line. Okay guys, so I'll go ahead and I'll leave that to dry. Okay guys, so uh, this nurse's uh, left hand, or left arm, is supposed to be one of those nurses that is uh, holding one of those lead pipes. Now as you can see there, it's a bit on the long side, but this was from the actual file. But as you can see there, it was printed on resin, but as you see there, it's bending, and I just think over time it'll just probably just snap and break. So what I thought I'd do instead is I just took a bit of uh, styrene, you know those from the uh, styrene uh, model kits. And this part here is basically more or less the exact same as the pipe. And the best part about it is it'll be easy to work with, it'll be easy to glue, and it'll be easy to shape. And it doesn't weigh anything, so I don't have to worry about it being too heavy. So yeah, so uh, I'm going to tidy this up and uh, try and make this work. Okay guys, so I've gone ahead and I've drilled the holes and I've added a little metal pin into here. Now that does fit inside there 
uh, pretty nicely but as you can see that this part here is a little bit thicker than this part here so what I might do is I might have a look at my bit box see if I can find a straw that I can uh, put onto here and then when I add some glue it can come past over onto here as well and hopefully we can uh, help bridge that gap okay guys so I, found, I went ahead and I found a straw hopefully this should uh, fit nicely okay it's a bit of a squeeze but I think it'll work really well Okay guys, so that looks like that's as far as it's going to go. It's a shame because I would have liked it all the way to the end there. So, yeah. I might have another play about, see if I can sort that out. But, uh, yeah, it might take me a while to do. So, I'll uh, catch you in the next section. Okay guys, so I managed to do it. I got it all the way to the bottom here. Bottom. But in order for me to do it, I had to get a scalpel and uh, let a bit of air in via a bit of a gap. But with a bit of super glue, uh, that'll seal that up, and you won't be able to uh, you won't be able to tell. So yes, yeah, so I know that this is done. I might go ahead and I might add another bit to this side, and then this part here we can probably just put a little bit of modelling clay around. So yes, yeah, so I think this is going to work out pretty good. Okay guys, that's uh, that's okay for now. Like I said, we can go in and we can uh, fill that part in at uh, a later stage. So uh, let's see what it looks like up against the hand. Okay guys, so it looks like I might need to put a little bit of modelling clay inside this hole here. Uh, and then... Uh, Hopefully once that's hardened we can then just push that into place and uh, it'll look a lot more unified. Okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try and balance this in place and then I'll leave it to, to dry, otherwise... Uh, I'll be stuck like this for a long time. So yeah, so I'll catch you in the next bit. Okay guys, so for the next part, now we need to join uh, Ness's C, Ness C, top half to the bottom half. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use this as a peg, which is just an old broken drill bit. Uh, we're going to mix uh, epoxy glue resin, part A and part B together, equal measures. And then we're going to stick it together and then we're going to try and clamp it and leave it to dry. Okay guys, I'm going to go off and I'm going to try and clamp this and then I'll show you the finished results. So next day we need to drill and pin, uh, drill two holes and pin uh, and glue this nest in place. So I've got a small piece of metal here, which is the end of an old drill bit, I believe. So I think that will work fantastic. So I've got the right size drill bit. So let's get drilling. <laughs> Okay guys, so same as the other ones, epoxy resin, and I'm going to glue these together. Ok 
Okay guys, I'll go ahead and I'll clamp this in place and then we'll leave it to dry. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I left the uh, epoxy resin to dry. And as you can see there, it has left a little bit of a gap on, uh, on some of these figures. Um, in hindsight, I should have probably put these on the belt sander and sanded them smooth so it was a better connection. But uh, for the most part, it's not that bad. Uh, this should be fine because I've pinned it in the middle, so it should be fine. So yeah, so this is going to need to be filled in. So same again, regular milliput to the rescue. Okay guys, I'll go ahead and I'll leave these two to dry. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I finished work on the uh, on the pipe there. So what I did was to get these extra bumpy bits that curl around the uh, corners, I just basically just got, took another little bit of the same straw, cut it and then just super glued it in place and then where the seam expanded or stretched I just put a little bit of milli put in there and then just uh, left it to dry and then sanded it smooth so once this is great prime this should look uh, look great but uh, in the meantime we need to go ahead and we need to add some uh, pinholes into the arms so we can uh, we can then make way for the uh, for the hands to be pegged so I'm not going to glue these in place just yet because it will be easier to paint with them separate but uh, for now we need to do the uh, the channels for them. Okay guys, so for the next part I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some pins to the feet. Now I've already gone ahead and did a few holes uh, when, I create, when, I, uh, when I put this into uh, matter control. Uh, but uh, I only did it for this one I think, the other ones I didn't. So yeah, uh, I might be able to just uh, glue those ones in place but the other ones have to be drilled. Okay guys, I'll go ahead and I'll leave those to dry. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I uploaded the uh, the Silent Hill official logo into Matter Control and I uh, made it into a 3D image and created a rectangle base around it to make a makeshift uh, nameplate. So I went ahead and I copied the same file twice, so we'll go ahead and we'll print both off and then uh, hopefully we've got some logos we can use. Okay guys, so here they are all printed off. Now I've done a bit of clean up work because there was a few bits of uh, filament uh, connecting the the, uh, the letters together so I did need a bit of clean up. But uh, for the next part I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grey prime these and then hopefully we can start adding them to the base. Okay guys, so I've gone ahead and I've just cleaned up the name plates. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put a little bit of uh, milli pot on the back and I'm going to push them in place and I'm going to leave them to dry. Okay 
Okay guys, we'll go ahead and we'll leave that to uh, dry. Okay guys, so I know I said that uh, I was going to leave these hands or arms separate, but uh, on, uh, on second thought, uh, whenever I'm trying to push them in there, as you can see there, there's a gap. And there's no point leaving a gap like that because when you come, even if you do a good paint job, you'll uh, you'll have to refill that in, and then you'll have to retop that paint job up. So I'm now thinking in hindsight that it probably would be better if I had gone ahead and glued the arms in position now. <laughs> and I'll leave these to dry okay guys same again but this time with nurses C and D Sandy. no John I said C and D not Sandy Okay guys, once again, I'll leave these to dry as well. Okay guys, so for the next part, I'm going to go in for a little bit more milly put and I'm going to hide these arm seams. Okay guys, so that's basically the idea that I'm talking about. So I just basically extend the sleeves on the end of the uh, the uh, the uniform so, uh, so that hides the seam line. So I'll go ahead and I'll do the other three. There's no point in me recording that because it'll take a while to, uh, to show. So yes, yeah, so I'll just uh, crack on with that and I'll show you the finished results in the next part. Okay guys, so now that all the nurses have been puttied and the putty is hardened, for the next stage I'm going to go over and I'm going to give them all a quick blast of uh, grey primer again. Okay guys, so now that the base and the nurses have all been grey primed, for the next part I need to go in with a thin drill bit and I need to drill some uh, channel holes into the base so we can uh, fit the nurses via a peg system. So uh, I went ahead and I had to uh, swap that nurse around because the other one wasn't really uh, flowing very well compared to this one because the uh, meat cleaver comes out and it was interacting with the other one's hand. So yeah, so I've had to swap them around. So uh, now that these are pegged, let's uh, go ahead and crack on with the other one. Originally I thought it should have been better on the left hand side um, 
but as you could see there, I struggled to make way for this nurse, and I didn't want this one to be overshadowed by this one. So obviously the problem is the uh, extended arm and the pipe, uh, especially on a limited uh, surface like uh, like this. So yeah, so I ended up moving it to the right instead, but all's well it ends well. Um, I'm really happy with how these are looking. So if you've uh, enjoyed this video or you like the build so far, please smash that like button and share on Facebook and Twitter because it helps new people find the YouTube channel, which I'm always appreciative. Thank you for your help. If you have any comments, comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on not only this build, but other builds in the future. So once again, I'm Francis Gray and this is two separate dioramas of the nurses from the ever awesome Silent Hill franchise. I'll see you in the next one.